Guys, we're going to jump into a game in just a minute, but I want you to take about 30 seconds here and just please listen to me about this defense. This defense has changed post-patch. Uh, these are the audibles you need to have, specifically Cover 6 Willie, DB Fire 2, Edge Blitz 3. You can have Cover 3 Cloud as whatever you want in this fourth slot. Coaching adjustments, auto flip off, auto alignment on base, option defense conservative, please call double safety, go flipped. And then when you audible, you're audibling into cover six Willie as your base. And you're going to stand right here and you're going to see that this is the best blitz in Madden post patch. Now, I've heard some people say, okay, well, Cody, all you have to do is just slide to the right side, right? Just slide right. Okay, well, then we're going to call edge blitz three and we're going to zone that slot corner. We're going to stand in the same spot and you're going to see that this is going to absolutely scream. And then you can say, okay, well, Cody, what if they start, uh, you know, slide protecting? Okay, well, slide protect or whatever. And then we're going to call DB fire two, and we're going to contain, and we're just going to try to get this guard, and you're going to see this loop off the edge. Brothers, first game post patch, Madden 25. I wanted to do a little preview of the defense that I'm running. If you want to get my updated dollar defense, it's going to be completely revamped and overhauled, and that is updated. Uh, that'll be updated today. For our school members, if you're not a member of our school website, school.com slash Cody Ballard, that'll be a link in the description for just $10. You can get access to all of my offensive, defensive ebooks, updates to those ebooks. Anytime there's a patch, we always do a lot of updates and any new stuff that we drop as well. So you get everything for 10 bucks, offense, defense, everything you need to be successful. I've actually switched over to the multiple defensive playbook. I will say I kind of, I might, I don't know what I'm going to do playbook wise on defense yet. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna get into this. So why is Dollar the best defense post patch, even though they patched the Dollar A gap because of Cover Six Willie, which we did in the preview. We tried to kind of just give you kind of a basic showing of what you can do out of it, and we're gonna see how how it works out here in game. So, and you see, very first play, we're screaming at him up the A gap, and so even though they patched A gaps, they didn't really patch A gaps. Okay. Now, the biggest thing uh, with this is the coverage shells out of Cover 6 Willie are significantly different uh, than the coverage shells out of anything uh, out of uh, Free Safety Zone Blitz. So you're going to see that I'm going to have to, you know, kind of adjust and get some muscle memory down, get some uh, reps with this to kind of get really good at it. But Cover 6 Willie is, in my opinion, the best defense post patch, and I don't think it's particularly close. I think that in general, uh, you need to be in in this defense. It's really, 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 really good. You're going to get consistent pressure. You're going to force them to have to do protection. And then once they start to do their protection, you can mix in things like DB Fire 2. You can mix in things. Um, you can mix in other things as well. So that's another really important kind of thing here. All right, fourth down. We're going to be kind of going to this. Tried to switch stick onto that. It didn't work out well for me. This is honestly, I feel like, one of the best offenses for this dollar. Um, let's see, when they go down to under center, I think my move is just going to be DB Fire 2 with a pinch D line, user the weak side. Not sure exactly how I want to defend under center yet because I don't have 6 1 anymore. Normally, 6 1 just gets the job done, but we also have in the multiple playbook, we have uh, Cub. We have 3 4 odd, and I actually think 3 4 odd is like got significantly better post patch. So those are some things that we might shift into. But for now, we're just going to sit in a basic DB Fire 2 and just kind of see uh, see how we do. What I like about DB Fire 2 is you see what it does to stretch. Like, I know he got the first down there, but if you just look at kind of how this defense stretch in general, it does a decent job against a basic stretch, right? So he's probably going to be like, okay, my solution, because he's in dollar, is going to be to run under center. But – under center is not going to be the answer the whole way through. You'll see here. I'd be surprised if he's able to just consistently run on us. I feel like we're very close to being able to stop it. And we are going to go ahead and set up 3-4 odd just in case we need 3-4 odd. I don't actually anticipate that we're going to need it. Let's put Kendricks here. Can I put Clowney down here? Dang it, I was hoping I could. All right, let's uh, pause. If you guys didn't know, if you're ever running out of time when you're setting up stuff pregame, you can just pause it, and then it'll reset that play clock timer for you so that you can make sure you're always in, a, in, in the defense that you want. Uh, here I might have messed up the blitz, but the cool part about Will, I feel like Willie just in general is just a more forgiving defense. As you see it scream there, I moved the guy, it still screamed. I just, I just really like it. I, I've been running Willie a lot this year so far, so I'm actually I, – I don't love – 
I'm trying to think how to word it. Like, I just think it's not that much different than FS Zone Blitz. You basically stand in the same spot. You basically just kind of to a degree run the same same deal. So, see, I'm expecting verticals. I'm going to go there. Give me that. Good defense. Defense is looking good. Defense is looking good. Let's see if I can get out of there. That's the greatest spin move I've ever seen by my man, Mike Hilton. Yeah, defense is definitely looking good. So as far as, like, feedback from the patch, a couple things. Uh, high, I don't like high balls. I've never liked high. I don't think high balls in general. Just the, the way that high ball – when high balls are good in Madden, I just don't like – I don't like that style of offense. Um, I like more – I feel like Madden – I'm trying to think. I just like it whenever you have to actually, like, throw to open receivers. So when that's, when that's, when that's happening, I feel like that's good for Madden. All right, my opponent is in 3-4 odd, so we're going to try to just send five out, hit the back. I think he's in 3-4 odd. going to be sending his whole team at us. 3-4 odd, send six is good. Okay, 3-4 odd, send six is good post-patch. It's very good. It's better than it was pre-patch, so just keep that in mind. This play here out of uh, motion cross post, though, is really good. I think you're going to see a lot of people ultimately gravitate to dollar, 3-4 odd, um, Look at that flat zone, looking fresh out there. Just stare at my drag and just runs right into it. So I don't think they really did much to zones. Not gonna lie, which is kind of kind of interesting that they didn't do much to zones because I feel like that's like the underlying big issue with this game is zones <laughs> are they just don't really do much. There's like no you know I I, I don't know. There's, like, never a reason to not have a hard flat on the play. Like, I feel like you hard flat, you shade down yellows. That's, like, the only thing you can do. And then you basically switch to it. Looks like this guy's going to be out of here early. He's going to get out of here early. I feel like he's in a fine spot. He just has to get a stop. But, okay, so post pat. Yep, he's out of here early. All right, we'll get into a second game for you guys. All right, guys, second game. See how we do here. Again, going to be in that cover six willy that hopefully you watched the first 60 seconds of this video where we explained kind of the general strategy for the defense. Again, if you want the full updated stuff, everything is going to be revamped on the site today. After I get done with this video, I just wanted to get a gameplay up so you guys could kind of see uh, how everything's playing. And then we're going to be going and recording a ton of site content today. But I actually, I'm not going to lie, I, I feel like do, the, the patch just cemented some things that were already kind of happening. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in this game if it's similar. But in general, send four is really good in this game. Send five is okay. Okay. But send four is how you want to be playing this game. So if your defense doesn't, the, what makes Dollar good is it has a bunch of good send fours. Okay. And it's, Good alignment, defend a lot of coverages. It's hard to run RPOs against. It's uh, great defense to switch stick. Those are all good things. So as far as uh, the main changes, a couple big things. They changed like I don't know what the word would be like. They like like weird stuff. Like if you look at the top of the screen, the guy that I'm playing, his name is in like the middle of the screen as opposed to the outside of the screen. Um, you know, so that's, that is what it is. Um, just some different, just some different things like that. So we'll see how this, how this goes. But anyway, back to defense. I'm just trying to, just trying to contain and throw right to my user. Nobody can catch the ball. So drop picks are still an issue in Madden 25. You heard it here first. They cannot stop. They cannot help themselves but make drop picks one of the biggest issues in this game. All right, here we go. We got split close here. Should be a good look on the willy. Another seam streak right at my guy. Still can't catch a pick. Just great read by my opponent. He likes to throw the ball to the other team. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't like the fact that seam streaks are still as good as they are personally. go that was a screen pass I thought that was HB will again all right we're getting deuce close 
I'm going to pass commit. There's like an RPO out of here that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm glad that he dropped that. I hate this play. Like, we can patch every good blitz in Madden, but by God, we can't patch freaking seams. We can't patch these broken RPO plays. I think that's crazy. I'm actually going to middle third this guy. I just kind of think the way he's playing. That's, that's just a fantastic read. If you look at that replay, he throws the, – the whole throwing right at your face and there's no consequence, very much so still in this game. Very much so. All right. Let's see if he actually runs the ball. It's actually a good run. I, 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 I will say, like, people play like idiots in this game. I, I I will say that, like like we're, we're in split close and we're in deuce close. We're, I mean, there's just like no real plan. I feel like a lot of the, a lot of the games I've been playing lately, and that's some people say like, oh, that's realistic, but it's kind of not because they really don't actually have like a a, a real idea. Like they're just calling plays, but there's no like, oh, against this look, I'm always gonna do this. There's none of that. There we go. I don't know why I jumped with my user. There we go. Fourth down. Let's see if we can get a stop here. I'm going to pass commit. Probably got to watch out for that. Okay, so that's why I don't like this game. That's a hard flat that he threw right at, and the hard flat sucked inside, and I pass committed. That is terrible for Madden, and it should never be true. It should just never be true. Like, look at this offense. Post-patch, Madden 25 is still one of the worst gaming experiences I've ever had because of stuff like that. There is no place for that in Madden. It's absolutely a glitch, and it should never, ever, ever work. Because I'm pass committing. That's the crazy part. <clears throat> I'm pass committing. I have inside quarters. I have hard flats. I have yellow zones. I, and we're just – everything's wide open. My players are just glitching. It's a literal glitch play. It's a literal glitch play, and it has been a glitch play ever since it's been put into the game. If you see a play that is called RPO read flat or RPO read flat wheel, those plays are the most broken plays in the game every year. It's been that way since they've been put into the game. And I just bla – it just absolutely baffles me that here we are <laughs> – what, five years in the next-gen systems? And we still have no idea how to code uh, RPO defense. We must – oh, I don't know how I didn't score. Uh, actually kind of surprised I got tackled there. That didn't work out way, the way I wanted it to. It's so frustrating. It's the literal glitchiest bull crap, too. All right, let's see what my opponent's doing defensively. I have no idea what this defense is, and I'm not scared of pressure. I'll just throw a corner out. Cover three drop. High balls still work. I thought they said they patched high balls. Goddard was never tackled, by the way, but I got tackled. Isn't that, isn't that funny how that works? <laughs> See if I can throw this touchdown. Good catch, Terry. You still catch everything. You still catch absolutely everything. I'm motion this guy in. This might be better. Let's see. Can I stem this? No. I drop a wide open pass. <clears throat> There are some things, boys, that you just can't you just can't overcome. Tight end should be open. I can't throw the ball because it got bumped. So we didn't fix high balls. There's still major issues with bumping in this game. Major issues with bumping. And you can still RPO glitch. 
There you go, Madden 25. Good catch, Dallas. Also, the clock, if you guys aren't noticing, the games are going to go by really fast now because there's like a – I'm trying to think how, how, how what, what actually happened. They basically overcorrected the runoff issue. So, so now, like, what used to be where if you went back to the huddle, there was no runoff. Now if you go back to the huddle, there's like a 15 to 20 – I think it's 15 seconds. It's 15 to 20 seconds of a runoff now. So you get a runoff for no huddle – and a runoff for uh, going back to the huddle. The problem with the runoff for no huddle, I think it's slightly less than the one if you go back to the huddle, but the problem with that is you get uh, a ton of fatigue penalties. Like you get fatigued really, really badly. So hopefully we can get a stop. He is running a glitch offense. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Probably nothing. I gotta figure out my coverage against a formation like this. He was throwing a pick too. <sighs> Cover six, Willie boys. Cover six, Willie. All right, I'm gonna try DB Fire two here with two quarters, and. It's a hard flat. That's a quarter throw right at it. There's also two yellow zones there. Um, I'm pass committing, too. It's literally, he's going to do this every time. He's going to do this every freaking time. It's a freaking glitch play, and there's nothing you can do. I have no clue what, I'm, what, what to do against this. Actually, no clue. If he runs a real offense, he's never going to move. That was a pick, too. This game is broken. I'm going to try this uh, cover three cloud. I don't know if it's going to be any good. There's another drop pick. I have my hands on the ball. <laughs> but you can see the defense is, is still really good. I just... I guess if you have a glitch play that dumbs out all zones, then there you go. Try this play. It's a middle third. Throw right into it. Should have been a pick. The zones are terrible in this game. Thank you. We finally caught our pick. He's thrown about five interceptions on this drive. Let's go score it because he might throw us one more, and he's already out of here. His glitch play was still working. He just didn't want to run it anymore, and he can't run in real offense. Thanks for watching the game. If you guys want to check out any of my updated ebooks, they'll be linked in the description on our school community. Everything for 10 bucks.